Keith, considering that Forrest's got those two extra points of being compliant, do you think that is the case then? Would that be fair to say that Everton will now take a, a hands-off approach, if you'd like to call it that? Well, certainly if I was chief executive there just now, I'd be telling my KC to go for the jugular, to put his foot on their throat and to proceed at 100 miles an hour and go for them. Because as each commission's rulings have come out, we're finding more and more that Everton have got more to argue now and to, to, uh, to positively look on their side. And so I would be saying, no, don't don't take your foot off this. Go fully for them because it's it's such a mess they've got themselves into that you've really got to go for it. Is there not a worry, though, that if you were to do that, say, that actually the Premier League would just turn around and do what they've already done and issue more points because you haven't been responsive? Or do you actually believe that putting forward a stronger argument with with effectively more points in your case would mean that they have not, they, have, they have no legs to stand on effectively? Correct. I think they have got very, you know, got no legs to stand on right now because such conflicting points are coming through time and time again. And as I mentioned, that different members of the panels will take conflicting views on different issues. I think now evidence mitigating issues around the Ukraine war. I think some of the new panel may see that in a different light now because I still find it so hard to believe that that was supposed to be considered a day to day occurrence. And yet the Ukraine war is uh, not quite to me a day to day occurrence. Uh, and so it's it, it's hopeful that you know they will find a way because to try and accept a, a lesser penalty on Everton. Certainly, the double jeopardy argument is very clear, and it's going to be a very minor breach in, in, if there is one. You know, of of course. But I think that the Premier League, I think, would be anxious to try and put a cap on both these cases and get the season finished. And I don't think they're going to um, go too hard. I'm hoping, well, my guess at the moment from all I've been reading on the legal commission uh, reports and I've been rereading them again, I think we might be looking at something like two points. So that then takes your total up to eight? Correct, which I still think is wrong because it should have been down to, there should have been the appeal on six <laughs> points rather than ten, which would have brought us down to four, and so the next two would have brought us to six. And that's where I think it should have ended up. Um, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully I'm wrong and there's a suspended sentence of some type uh, we'll wait and see. But they seem very insistent on making it a points deduction for a breach of this particular rule. Uh, but the double jeopardy is is a pretty serious one that, that they, they can't really overlook that at all. So if it does go to two points, takes you to eight, are you expecting Everton to then appeal that? And would it go back to six? Would it be reduced further? How, how would that then work? Well, again, we'd have to look at the uh, the ruling on how they came to their decision. They, as I say, they've now got themselves into a bit of a corner with different ways of calculated things. So, again, we'd have to wait and see what the judgment says and how it looks. There could well be another appeal, uh, and we'll see how that goes. But, yes, I think that there's every chance it could be. Certainly, as I mentioned, I'd be on the attack, and I'd be wanting to embarrass the Premier League. I think the legal brains have got this completely wrong. They've obviously never run a football club. Uh, they're not... They don't realise how you budget for a season and when you have to budget for a season and the sort of things that you budget for revenue streams. And they get these all wrong. And it's just people that don't understand football in that sense and are making judgments that are dictating to football what's really happening in the table. It's really, really wrong. Are you glad in any way, Keith, if we take try, try and take a positive spin potentially that actually it's happening now rather than later? Because, of course, as we've discussed in previous weeks, there was always that sort of cloud hanging over Everton, wondering when it was finally going to happen. Is there some relief that actually now the hopefully the wheels start to get rolling on this and, and you can progress? Well, no, because it's such a diversion. It's such a waste of time, resources, effort, emotional time with, with stuff. But we've got a new stadium they're trying to build and, you know, they should be getting on with that. Uh, you know, there's a lot of issues around that particular stadium just now. I know some suppliers today went into administration. Uh, there's some different, you know, some big issues there. And uh, there's enough to run in a football club without having to be completely sidetracked on these issues. So, of course, it's good to see it coming towards an end, but we're not there yet. And there's a lot to go. There's only 10 games left. Uh, and we should be focusing, you know, 100% on those 10 games. Do you think it will have any bearing on whether Everton are in the Premier League or the Championship next year? Or actually, do you think that two points is kind of by the by? No, I think it's going to be crucial. I think it's going to be very tight down there for that uh, third relegation place. Uh, I think whether, you know, Luton, I've got a lot to say in there as well as Everton and, of course, Forrest now. Uh, I think, you know, it's going to be very tight. And I think everybody's going to be trying to pull everything they can. Two points is going to be a big thing. And I think even goal difference might be a key factor this year. 
So we've got to be very careful on uh, on how things move forward. And certainly Forrest and Empton have got to play each other. And uh, there's some big games coming up.